there are people who are doing things because it's available, not because they discovered it. The reason you may not be prospering in that business is that the work you are doing now, that thing you are doing was not a revelation from God. You are doing it because that's what everybody is doing. But that's not what the Lord wants you to do. I wish I was talking to somebody. You just decide to start selling hair because everybody is selling hair. You are selling hair because people are selling hair and your life now is hell because there's no money to continue selling hair. You open a restaurant because people are opening a restaurant. Since you open that restaurant, you are the only one eating what you are cooking. Tell somebody, discover it. Lord, open my eyes to what I should do that will bring my wealth. Open my eyes to what I will do that will bring my wealth. Open my eyes to what I will do that will bring my wealth. The woman was stranded. The woman had nothing. And Elijah said to her, what do you have in your house? He said, I have nothing but a pot of oil. He said, go and turn it. That is work. Go and turn it. Go and turn it. It was the oil in the house that produced that wet and God is saying to somebody here he wants to open your eyes he wants to open your eyes he wants to open your eyes to know what to do 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 he wants to open your eyes he wants to give you ideas a brother then in the north he sat down one day he's a lab scientist and he was putting some things together. He began to put some things together. Just the way then they used to have paro solder, limca, goat soap. He started something called uranium. He was putting things together and he tasted it was good. It was not harmful. And that became a drink in the nut. It was his brand. What to do? God can even show you what to do. Things people are doing. But it will give you capacity to rebrand it. I told you I was in an African country and somebody said to me, there's something, if I taste it, I'm going to like it. I said, what is that? He said, you have no idea. If you taste it, we just put it in cold water. If you eat it, you will like it. I said, wow, bring it. And they brought it. It was dried. And I opened it. He said, you have to soak it. I said, really? He said, yes. I soaked it. He said, I should wait. It dissolved. I was seeing some creamy substance. I put it in my mouth. It was Gary. But this time, hold on. But this time, they had put it with sugar and put powdered milk and dried it. He said, he said, we are eating it here. I said, what? This is Gary from my country. He said, what is Gary? I said, cassava. He said, it doesn't matter. This thing is sweet. Was it not sweet? I said, what, the, what are you talking about? I know this thing now. <laughs> Somebody was making money. One man, one guy from Kenya was in a church and was giving a testimony. I was happy for him that God has blessed him, but I was angry that he became blessed through our money, Nigeria. I will tell you what he said. He said one day, he came to Nigeria, he looked around, and he said, ah, how can he make money from Nigeria? He stayed, he walked around Lagos, from one end to another, was going around, and he felt that the whole Lagos was Nigeria. They said, no, this is just one state. He said, ah, still so many people. He entered and I began to pray. God gave him idea. And he now wrote to banks, that told them that see sometimes i notice everybody in your country makes call they're always on their phone they are so busy they are pressing phone they're on the phone they are pressing phone so they use call all the time and they use air time so he wrote to banks and brought a proposal that if people have an account with you and they run out of air time that's what they call borrow credit he initiated it for everything that is borrowed it gets like 50 cobble to a naira. So because they take small money like that from you, you don't know. You're not getting my point. It's like, it's, how do you think data, they make money with, with data and all of that? When you want to make money, you take it bit by bit in bulk, you become rich. So he said that's what he did and the banks approved and they initiated the idea. So for every time you run out of time, say, let me borrow from my bank. Am I correct? You borrow, something goes to his account. He said after that period, he has made a profit of 2 billion naira from Nigeria. And all of us are carrying our phone like telephone operator. Somebody is making money on you. Show me what to do. Show me money. A, a man said, 
he came to Nigeria. He said, Nigeria is so blessed. But the people are so blind. He said, Africa is so blessed with money that you can literally pick it. But Africans are so blind that they can't see it. There are lots of cars in your area. Going out, going out. And they will drive to a car wash to go and wash. You can't open one in front of your house. They will drive and drive all of them to go and wash a car. What stops you? You say, no. I'm a graduate. A graduate without money is a granite. Get something doing. Get something doing. Lord, open my eyes. Somebody say, in the name of Jesus. Spirit of the living God. Open my eyes. To what you want me to do to become a kingdom financial I receive ideas I receive revelation I can hear you I receive ideas I receive revelation for my prosperity for my wealth for my wealth for my wealth let's take your seat Deuteronomy 29 29 the secret thing belongs to God but the thing which are revealed belong to who and our children there is something heaven will open your eyes and if you came to this place with faith in your heart when you come out of that door after applying what I'm teaching you poverty will take off in your house very big and people will go far to go and buy soft drink your freezer is there you will clean it clean it you put only two bottled water in a massive freezer that's investments wasting you come back again you put two bottled water massive freezer enough for soft drinks enough to freeze things just imagine what could have been coming to your hand every day. Am I communicating here? Open my eyes. Money's around. Money's around. There are things to do. But we don't have illuminated minds. Our minds are not illuminated. Our hearts are not open. So money keeps passing. Keeps passing. That is why somebody will come to that same area you live today. And start something there. And he's making money. And you're wondering what is going on. Open my eyes. You have to discover it. A great man said, your assignment is not your decision, it's your discovery. Your greatness is not a decision, it's a discovery. There is something you find. Your greatness is in your discovery. There is something you discover. Your eyes are open to it. And you run with it. And your wealth is released. I know people who are graduates and they have a babish, a babbing shop and they are making money. 